has everybody else been dying to get into this business with us? I mean, I'm just wondering, was this a unique opportunity? I know you probably can't say too much with all the confidentiality clauses, no doubt they're in place, but was this something that's offered to us or did we go looking for it? Well, it's interesting. This really has been um, in the making for three years or so. Uh, and uh, it's only in the last six months that uh, it's started to firm up and become a firm proposition. But uh, it would have been difficult for us to make a move um, to acquire shares in Pinewood um, 18 months, two years ago, because that, that, at that time the company was subject to a full-scale takeover bid. So we, we, we had to consider our timing and our movement and everything else. But I think now the timing is right and it's appropriate because we've come to the end of our existing management contract. Uh, to, to move earlier might have em, 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 embroiled us in uh, contractual negotiations over the management of the Media Development Fund. Yeah. I mean, clearly you've got the Isle of Man's interests at heart, like everyone probably would say they have. So you're not going to just go in there clearly and, and, and try and make us uh, lose money. But in a year's time, will you be able to come back to us and, and, and say, look, we've made this already? Or is it a much longer term? Well, though? the trouble is, Paul, um, the film industry has a long lead time, as we found. Even one of our most successful films, Waking Med, where there's money still coming in now. And uh, that, that was um, actually filmed and distributed over five years ago. So really, it, um, it's a long time. And those people who say, we should have the money back two or three weeks after we made the investment in the fund, that's just not realistic. So will you see it in, in this life of parliament? We will see money coming in within the life of this parliament. Um, and uh, I feel that uh, we shouldn't be too disappointed if we don't hit the jackpot first time round. Uh, the film TT Closer to the Edge, that's gone very well. That's still producing substantial revenue. And that was, uh, that, that was issued about a year ago. So it takes a while because if I can just bore you for a second, the basic background is that there's various distribution rights. Um, they go by the countries or the country areas. In addition to that, whether it's um, in, the, in the cinemas, television, satellite, and then DVD. So uh, uh, the first section really is the cinema. So it goes through each phase and then onto DVD and then it might be reissued again to go out on television. Oh, yes, you've got, I mean, you've got many platforms. I understand what you're saying. But I mean, the, the, the beauty about these videos is they'll be around here forever. I mean, people will be looking at this in 100 thousand years time and you know therefore they'll know exactly how it's all panned out but uh, you, you've already given me the great quote that the buck stops with you on this one you, you still stand by that i still stand by it and i'd add that there's no hiding place especially now with modern technology mm -hmm.